Welcome to Shadow Creations. We're continuing our series of highlighting our kits that we're currently producing at Shadow Creations. Up next is our third release, Vincent Price in the House of Wax. This is a very special kit to me. This was Brian Hamilton's last sculpt of 2018. He originally produced it for a short time. Him and I were working on a future project and sadly uh, he was struck by cancer. In our conversations Brian agreed to turn over full production rights to me for this beautiful kit, Vincent Price in the House of Wax. I am so blessed, number one, to have known Brian. Number two, to be producing his last sculpt to the hobby today. This is a beautiful kit, and it's currently available through Shadow Creations. Let's take a look at this beautiful kit that uh, Brian sculpted. You can see that he has Vincent Price perfectly done. You can see his face. You can see that hat that he wore when he was cruising through the streets of London with that hat over his face to hide his deformed face. The cloak that he wore, Brian's got that all captured. The scars on his face, if you remember from the film, he was burned in the fire when his business partner decided he wanted out. He placed the uh, museum on fire intentionally. And of course, Vincent Price was trying to save all his sculptures, all his wax figures, and was knocked unconscious. Of course, he had some damage done to his face, and Brian beautifully captures that as you look at the face on this. This does come with two different heads and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. But you can see you get the mask on the base, uh, the mask that he wore to hide his deformed face. You get a nice nameplate right in the front that says the House of Wax. You also see the little shadow in the nameplate when he was lurking through the streets. The base itself is a uh, cobblestone flooring, a brick wall, with wax just oozing down the front sides and the back of this beautiful sculpt. I'll turn it to the side and you can just see how the piece just flows. The wax just coming down on each side of the sculpt. The back has lots of wax oozing down over the brick walls and right onto the uh, street base. Everything is just beautifully captured. This kit is a huge one-third scale. It has some weight to it and it beautifully displays. You'll need a little bit of shelf height, but other than that, it's just beautiful. As you can see, it's a nice size. Total size of this, I believe, is about 13 to 15 inches. I'll have that information in the uh, description of this video. And like I had said before, it does come with two heads. You get the uh, scarred face with the hat, and then you also get the scarred head, which does not have the hat. You would just place this on there, and you would just have another view of him minus the hat, which Brian also did a great job sculpting that. You can just see the detail of Vincent Price, half of the hair missing, the scarring, the lips that are off, simply off to the right, with all the veining on it. Brian just did a great job on both of these heads. Brian was a huge fan of uh, Vincent Price. He had several sculpts that he did uh, from the House of Wax. Did a full figure of uh, Vincent Price which I have. I was so blessed to have been able to get one of those from Brian. So many kits that so many kits that he's had. He has definitely missed in this hobby. His presence, uh, just uh, my conversations with him, you know. You have to cherish what you have because you never know when somebody's going to be called home. We've lost a lot of greats this year. 
But this kit is currently available through Shadow Creations. If you haven't seen this movie, revisit it. It's an awesome movie. Atmospherically, it's amazing. So much in there and such a great story. So this is Vincent Price in the House of Wax, a big one-third scale, sculpted by Brian Hamilton and available through Shadow Creations. I will have my contact info for you to contact me if you're interested in one of these. It does come with both heads and it's just great. It was recently reviewed by Brett Krug on his uh, YouTube page. I will also have the link to that and he had got it Actually, his fiance uh, Virginia Peters, had purchased it from me. She's a huge fan, and now she's going to bring this one to life. So if you want one of these, hit me up. I have a few in stock, and it, they're ready to go. So thanks again for stopping into Shadow Creations today, where we talk about all things Shadow Creations. So if you're interested, hit me up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, hit that button because this is where you're going to hear all the latest news, see highlights of our kits, sneak peeks and new releases, which there's a few, and much more. So thanks again for stopping in today to Shadow Creations, and may the Lord bless your day.